Clippers, the Stone from Dawn Stepping Thoughts.net, and today we're going to make the box using the Window Box Thinlets. It's in the Occasions catalog right now, and I made a bunch of different varieties of this box, and it's so easy and so beautiful. So you'll see this one has little slits on the top, and I didn't cut the sides of that one out. And, and then, then this one I used the Pink Pirouette. These are using the Rich Razzleberry. And this one is the Sweet Sugar Plum with the Celebration Glimmer Paper. Oh my gosh. But this one I used the Pink Pirouette. And I used, let me show you the window box thinlet. So this is what we're going to use today. We're going to cut out two of these. But this is what I used to make the little tag right here. And I'll show you how I did that. And then we're going to use this birthday candle one. And then this is the one that uses the slits on the top. So I just put it there and then I flipped it and did it on this side. So you get that whole cut out. And then this makes like a little Easter basket when you cut that out. And then this is the top of the box, which I cut out. And then these are just different variations of the side panels that you can use. Um, the birthday candle one is a little complicated when you're using it for the box and I'm going to kind of talk you through that. And then there's also a little tag that you can cut out. And this Thinlit set also has a coordinating stamp set, which is called Window Shopping Stamp Set. And when you purchase them together, you can save 10%. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to be using a piece of mint macaron, only because I wanted to bring in the glimmer paper. Let me show you this again. Oh my gosh, isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? This is the Sweet Sugar Plum. We're going to use the mint macaron and then the Bermuda Bay. And this is only available through the celebration, which you can get for free, remember, until March 31st. So I think that's what? 16 days now. So you can still get it for free. Okay, so I cut my mint macaron cardstock by 6 and 1 8 by 11. You're going to be able to get two cutouts for your box. Okay, so then this is a piece of whisper weight. I'm going to show you how to make that tag. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this first before we get the big shout out so we can cut that while we're doing all that. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this thinking of you. And that's in the window shopping stamp set. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it. Now this is, remember, three quarter inches wide by five and a half. And you want to stamp it in the middle so you can get this on the ends, the whole piece like that, all right? So that's why my piece is cut at five and a half. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp that. Okay, a little crooked, but that's all right. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our big shot. So we're gonna go ahead and cut our pieces. Actually, let me put this one down. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut out two pieces of our box. Remember, there's an edge for cutting, so you want to put that face down. And this slides right into the Big Shot perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this flat edge, or the squares, along the top. Bring that up. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and Run that through the Big Shot. Okay, so this is one part of our box. Okay, now we're going to do that again. So we need two pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the same piece. Let me just tear these pieces off here. Okay, so now this has a little cutout here which fits perfectly on that top of this right here where that cut out. So I'm going to move that as close as I can, keeping that on the cardstock. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna run that through the big shot. Okay. Okay. So there's our second piece to the box. Now we're going to cut our tag. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so we're going to take our edge where the flag is. You're going to put that on the edge. But then you're going to put this part right here is where you don't want it to overlap on the thinking of you part. So just line that up. And cut that out. Okay, 
so it flags the end and then it has two score lines right here I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up but you're going to fold the first line up and then the second line forward so you have that little banner end and then I'm going to just cut the opposite end the same way super easy Here's the other end so it goes up and then forward just like that so there's your little banner just like that so then that's how I did this one with the birthday and then also with the thinking of you okay so that's how you make the okay banner. so here are the two pieces for our box now this is the birthday square that we're going to add to these sections on the bottom of our box and I went ahead and did most of them. I'm going to cut one with you, but I want to show you that. Okay, so let me move my big shot here. Okay, so I went ahead already and did one, but you're going to want to keep in mind that you're going to have a bottom section of your box and a top section. And the reason this matters with the birthday one is because you don't want the birthday candles to be upside down. So you're going to decide on what end or what panel you want to be your bottom of your box. So this is going to be the the bottom of my box right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to line your panels up like this. Hopefully this is showing up. And you're going to punch the bottom of your box upside down when you're looking at it. It's going to kind of look kind of weird. And then the top of your box, you're just going to use the, the candles the regular way. Okay. So when you make yours, it'll all make sense, but I just want to give you a heads up on that because the other designs, even though there's hearts on this one, you want to pay particular notice of the center heart too because the candle is just like that one. You want the heart facing the right way up. Okay, so we're going to cut this last little section here. And this is the bottom of the box, so we're going to cut it upside down. I'm just going to lay that in between your score lines, right about there. I'm gonna send that through the big shot. Oh, it kind of moved, but I think it's gonna be all right. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna get our big shot brush out, but then there's one more thing. When making the box, I thought it would be really cute to add like a birthday decoration on the front. So what I'm gonna use for mine today is the Star Blast Edgelet. We're going to cut this out with the glimmer paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the edge right up along the edge of the glimmer paper just like that because I mainly want just the stars like the burst. So we're going to go ahead and cut that out. We've got the big shot out. Glimmer paper is a little bit thicker, so I want to make sure it cuts it really nice. Okay, you're not going to be able to see that. We're going to take the Big Shot brush to that, too. All right, so I think that's all the cutting. So let's go ahead and move the Big Shot. Okay, so let's bring our box. I'm going to take the Big Shot brush, or the die brush, run that over that. Okay, so you can see how the bottom of the box is going to sit like this, and then you have the candle sitting upright. Okay? All right, now let's do the Glimmer paper. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, we're going to trim this off. Right about there. Okay, so this was just a last minute thought that I decorate the front of the box with that. Okay, so to make it easy for myself when I was making these boxes, I went ahead and cut the edge off of the bottom. So you have two tabs here normally. Let me show you here on this one that we cut out. So these are identical cutouts of that die. So you're going to notice that there's tabs on both ends. Okay. And then you have two on this side. Okay. So they're identical. So the bottom section of my box, I'm just going to remove those tabs. And that's what I did on this one. So there's no tabs right here. Now this one, I kept all the tabs in place. Okay. okay, so now this is totally optional, but I'm going to go ahead and glue the glimmer paper on the inside of my box before I actually put the box together. So let me go ahead and do that.
Okay, so I have all the glimmer paper put on the inside of my squares and they're pretty much dry. So now this is the time to go ahead and make all your score lines really nice. It's going to make the box go together a little bit easier. Now the score lines are a little faint, but when you start folding the edge, just like this, here let me show you. So when I start folding it, I just kind of start creasing it and then kind of fold it like that. Okay, so I went ahead already and did all that. I'm just making sure to reinforce those score lines. All right, so once again, the bottom section of this box, I cut the tabs off. So that's how I know that that's the bottom. And then this is gonna be the top. So now I'm gonna put my box together with the liquid glue. So we're gonna go ahead and start. So we're gonna kind of get you going here. Let me show you. This tab right here is gonna go under here, like this. Okay, so then when it folds up, your box is gonna to go together like this. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some liquid glue here. And then we're just going to line that score line up with the center of that section of the box and just hold that there just for a couple seconds. It doesn't take very long. Okay, now we're going to start forming the box along the edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue here, form this around, and hold that together. Okay, then this side, same thing. Putting a liquid glue on this tab right here. Line it up, press it down, and just hold it there. Okay, now we're going to form this side. I'm going to put glue on the bottom tab and the side tab, same time. Okay, I'm going to form the bottom, line that up and then fold this tab over and stick those together as well. Okay, so you can use your tear and tape if you wanted for this box. I've done both with the liquid glue and the tear and tape. The liquid glue takes a little patience. It takes a little bit to dry, so you just gotta keep that in mind when you're using the liquid glue. Okay, so now this one over here, I'm gonna put glue there and on the bottom as well. Okay, we're gonna tuck that in and bring this over here. I'm just pushing my nail in the inside on that little tab so it just glues from the inside really good. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let me hold this corner down here a little bit longer. Okay, so then you're just going to take your tabs and then just close your box like that. Isn't that cute? All right, so now let's take our stars. This is what I thought would be cute to go with the uh, candles along the side. So I have my sponge here. Just going to take some liquid glue some of that on the lid and I'm just going to sponge that glue on the back of my layer here on the front. It's a little bit easy. Okay, I'm going to take the lid, open it up here, and I mainly just want the stars on the front. So I want to kind of position it just like that. Isn't that pretty? How cute. And then of course you just take your scissors and cut the excess off. Just like that. Let's hold that for a second. Okay, and then you're just going to bend the tabs and close up the box. Isn't that cute? 
such a sweet little box. These would be really cute for Easter, for um, parties, to sit them on the table. Let me show you this one here with the pink pirouette. I'm going to put a candle in there. With it having the cutouts, it just really glows, really beautiful through the centers. Let me shut the light off here. I don't know if you can even see that. So you can see that glowing through the holes. That would be really pretty sitting on a reception table. Just like that. Okay, so here's that one we just made. And then here's the rich raspberry that I just cut out the candles along the edge and kept that one blank like the mint macaron. And then here's one with the slits on the front. And then here's the sweet sugar plum. And instead of putting the glimmer paper behind the candles, I put the glimmer paper on the front. And these squares are cut at one and three quarter by one and three quarter. I just glued those on the sides, but that's still pretty too. Okay, so that's how you make that window box thinlet. Super cute. All the information is listed below, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.